everybody, and welcome to Spaced Out Radio's Cryptid Tales. I'm Amber Beckrude, your host, paranormal YouTuber, and today on our very first episode of Cryptid Tales, I would like to bring something to you guys that I thought was pretty cool and pretty strange that I have learned actually very recently. And that is the very, very strange case coming out of a small town in Iowa called Van Meter. Now, for those of you who don't know this story, it is about a strange creature or cryptid called the Van Meter Visitor. Now, back in 1903, which it was a very long 114 years ago, the town was terrorized by a strange creature that they dubbed the Van Meter Visitor. Now, the occurrences happened over a period of time, and it was said that this creature was almost like a dinosaur. It had a long hooked bill, it had bat-like wings, as well as projected a very bright light from its head. Now, residents thought that it was something that was going to come and take them away. They were absolutely terrified by this creature and they had absolutely no idea what it was. Now, in my research going through, apparently they tried shooting at this creature. Many people saw it over multiple incidences and everybody was terrified for their life. What makes the Van Meter Visitor so different than basically anything that I've ever encountered is that there actually became a very logical explanation for what this creature actually was. But at the time, it was something that couldn't really be explained at all by anybody. The Van Meter Visitor, by many illustrations, as you can see, was basically the modern day pterodactyl almost like it had this huge hook nose and large bat like wings that were kind of humanoid and it was absolutely terrifying people said that its wingspan could have reached up to eight feet across and i can't even begin to imagine how terrifying that would be if you've never seen a creature like this before at all. Many accounts said that it used to watch people in the night. It would only appear to them during the dusk hours, very rarely saw during daylight. I did come across actually a TV show that covered the Van Meter Visitor and they actually provided a very logical explanation for what this creature was. Now, what the speculation is, is that it's a rhinoceros horn billed bird. And if you look at a picture of the bird and kind of look at the illustrations, I can see where they're getting at. So what the explanation was, was that this bird somehow had gotten out of an enclosure or habitat, what have you, and had flown into the area and was just kind of around. But the way that the beak and the bill is actually on the skull of the bird when light hit it, so the moonlight for instance, it would reflect the light off of it. So that gave the appearance that the bird was actually producing light. Now, of course, if you're seeing things in the dark and there's not really, really an ability to see the full animal or being as it is, of course your eyes are gonna play tricks with you in the dark, giving it that appearance that it could be much larger than it actually is, as these birds are very small and do not have an eight foot wingspan. What is so interesting about this, however, that there is still speculation that the Van Meter Visitor is something we don't know, and potentially even a dinosaur that still roams the earth. And why I say that is because there have been sightings of the Van Meter Visitor up until as recently as 2014. That's right, somebody actually claimed that they saw the Van Meter Visitor in broad daylight flying over them. I actually think I would be pretty scared to meet this thing in person, I'm not gonna lie. It would be interesting. I honestly don't think 
I know what I would do if I encountered a beast like that. Whether it is actually a dinosaur who we have not found at all and is just hiding in plain sight and only appearing every once in a while to random people, or if it actually was the rhinoceros hornbill, maybe it's just a mystery. And maybe it is something a little bit more than what we know. I would really love to hear your guys' opinions on what you think this creepy cryptid is. If you think it was a dinosaur, please let me know down below in the comments. If you think it was just the rhinoceros hornbill, I want to know that too. Or if you have encountered the Van Meter Visitor, I want to hear your stories. So please, please, please don't be shy. Leave your comments down below and I will be going through them and reading them and hearing what you guys have to say. Also, if you guys really want to keep up the chase for the Van Meter Visitor or keep up on any of the research that is being done into what this cryptid is, you guys can check out the Van Meter Festival that happens every single year in September. This year it is September 28th, 2019. You can check them out on Facebook and they do an entire festival talking about the history of the Van Meter Visitor, uh, getting local accounts, and it looks like it's a really fun time. I wish I could go, but unfortunately I have other priorities here in Canada. I think that is all for me. Don't forget that you can check out myself and Spaced Out Radio on all the social media links on the side. And I would like to give a huge shout out to Ron Bumblefoot Thal for the music that is in Spaced Out Radio on the radio channel and for this video as well. Don't forget, you can tune in to Spaced Out Radio every single day of the week at 9 p.m. Pacific for three hours of wonderful entertainment. If you guys have any stories that you would like me to cover, please leave them down below in the comment section. I'm always looking for weird and wonderful new things to talk about here on the channel. Of course, like I said in my intro video, we will be doing this every two weeks every Tuesday. So you can expect that for you every two weeks with a new story from me. I think that's it for me and I will catch you guys in the next video.